Hey, it's Tori, and welcome to, or welcome back to my channel. Well, we have the third offering from Star Set. They just dropped a lyric video for a single called Toxic. Now, this is spelled T O K S I K. And honestly, I have really loved the two previous songs that we have checked out from them, uh, Brave New World and Degenerate. Now, I do enjoy my music a little bit heavier, so I can honestly say that with these two songs, they have taken me from a casual listener to like full on I'm here, I'm ready, let's do this. I've also seen the band a couple of times live and they put on one of the most phenomenal shows you will ever get to see. So if they are in your area and you're thinking about going, absolutely do it. You will not be disappointed. So I'm very curious to hear more and to see where we're gonna go with this one. So yeah, without further ado, let's just dive right in and check this song out together. Something in the sky has been burning Something in the water is churning It's time to bite your tongue and run and hide The ends arrive They don't want your party We're taking everybody They're not the beast that talks you find They don't survive It's coming to ruin everything Coming to you feeling a little cold out here <laughs> but you know it is it's true it's the truth and it's it's a hard truth to digest that all of us have these screen addictions and somewhat of narcissistic tendencies that do come along with that especially with like taking selfies or making content or you know and I try not to be a narcissistic person, but you know, I put myself out there and I put my thoughts into making these reactions. And is that narcissism? Maybe. Um, I am, I feel like I'm a genuine person. I don't feel like I'm acting up for the camera that I feel some people do. Uh, so I don't know it's it's a hard line to, and it's one that you really have to deeply think about because I mean the reaction scene is massive it is oversaturated and you just got to find people that you connect with and I think there's also that form of wanting that part of human connection with somebody because you know, there's just something about music and something that makes you, it makes you feel or it makes you think. And you want to then, you're excited and you want to see how other people react to it and listen to it, uh, if they enjoy it or not. And there's that little form of human connection right there that I really enjoy about this scene and, and this community. But yeah. <laughs> I, you know, honestly, I'm really loving this side of Dustin and of Star, uh, Star Set that are telling us that we are addicted and that it's becoming something huge that we should really pay attention to. So... Toxic. 
I love how this is more of their older sound. It's not as heavy within the music itself. I mean, that could change. We're only halfway through. Uh, but it is heavy within the content, the lyrical content. Because, you know, Star Star aren't the only bands that are, have been addressing this issue. There have been a couple that I've checked out recently. Uh, make them suffer and there was another one I can't think of the top of my head that you know these little black boxes that we have that we keep with us at all times and that do control our daily lives and you know we rely on them for everything we rely on them for GPS to get somewhere or I'd live in a different country so that's my you know my one of my excuses is it helps me stay in contact with my family, my parents, my siblings, uh, instead of having to do snail mail, like how they used to do. Um, and then of course, with my channel. Now I do try and keep it to a minimum with my channel and I will only post like the once a day for advertising and whatever to get that out there. Uh, Cause I just, it's gonna overwhelm me too much if I do too much. And I, I'm just not about that. I don't know how people are spitting out. I don't like to call mine content either because I feel like that's fake and I feel like it's just spitting it out to the masses. And like I say, I do try and be genuine. And it has taken me a long time to be comfortable fully in front of the camera. Now, that was difficult in the beginning. But, you know, we've grown an amazing community and... If it wasn't for my community at times, well, for the most part, then, you know, I would not be discovering brilliant music like this or, or being able to connect with people all over the world. You know, you have your, your cons, absolutely have your cons, but then you also have the pros that you have to weigh in as well with it. And Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a definitely a touchy subject for sure. I, did I expect that we would ever hear Dustin rapping? <laughs> no. <laughs> did it go with the song? Absolutely. I really love how different that was before we got to the, the breakdown. And those lyrics, you're in a cult. And that could be said for pretty much anything within this world, whether that's organized religion, whether that's being an influencer, whether that's just life in general. 
you know, and wow, so many points to think about. I have goosebumps. <laughs> what a message. And an important one at that. And, you know, I think all of us, every single human being, has a tinge of narcissism within them. We do. That's just a part of who we are and what we've become as a society um growing up with all of this technology you know i'm sat here and i have a laptop here i have a screen here i have my phone here i have the camera there it's and we don't even think about it we just go on about our day-to-day -day lives and we are overwhelmed and overloaded with information every single day and usually it's negativity Oh, that rapping part totally came out of left field, but it was so smooth and so incredibly done. That lead up to the breakdown and that, oh yeah, you're in a cult. Ne need I say more? <laughs> no. So yeah, another absolute banger. I really loved how this was more of star sets traditional sound that we've gotten in the past but then they also added that little tinge of of heaviness that they have brought with the previous two singles that we've gotten from this band and again they're such an incredible live band that you have to go and see and witness for yourself so if they are coming near you do it like do it, get the VIP and meet them and, you know, because they have really unique VIP experiences as well. It's different. The one we went to, they had like, they gave out little raffle tickets and if your number was called, they had like a um, question and answer type thing and it was just really fun. And of course, my number, my number got drawn. <laughs> I hate, it's funny because I do my channel and I finally got uncomfortable enough being here and, and having my channel. But outside of being in my own home and being comfortable here, whenever I'm at shows or just out in general public, I'm a very awkward person. Uh, that's just who I am. And I try not to let this, this take over and change into somebody else. Because that's not who I am at the end of the day. And it is hard. It, you know, it's it's hard to remain grounded. But I feel like if I did change, people would be like, what is going on? That is not the Tory we know. So, plus it would just wear me out. I don't know how people do it. I really don't know how people do it. I don't. I just, I don't have that personality. It's like I don't have the personality to be a salesman because I don't like forcing people into getting things that they don't need <laughs> or want 
uh, and making them think that they do need it you know it's just not part of who i am so yeah really enjoyed this really enjoyed actually that rap part leading up to the breakdown so yeah definitely would be putting this one in my playlist but don't forget to like and subscribe to become a taurian speaking of becoming a taurian all of my social media links and my discord link are down in the description we'd absolutely love to have you come hang out in the discord community and i will see you guys in the next video rock on <laughs>